Hey guys, today I'm going to review the Blind Horse Knives Bushcrafter Knife. Uh, after I've been using it for a few months, I think I can do like an update video and a review on it. Um, it's a good Bushcrafter Knife. Uh, it's good at making notches. It's good at carving. Um, it's thick enough to do some light batoning. Um, it could strike a fire steel, all your basic uh, bushcraft uh, tasks. Um, I have a video of me carving with it, making notches, and uh, it holds an edge real well. Um, ever since I first got it, I, uh, I never sharpened it once. Um, it's not razor sharp like when I first got it but uh, it's still pretty sharp and it hope like I said I don't know if I said this I probably did but it holds an edge uh, real well um, after batoning th through wood uh, small pieces of wood and uh, carving with it uh, I haven't needed to sharpen it um, I'll do a paper cut test later and uh, the sheath it's a nice leather sheath um, every, like when I, one problem though, when I was up camping in the mornings, there would always be like some, I guess you could like some, a little bit of moisture and leather sheath, sheaths will hold the moisture. So if you're camping with it, you have to store the knife outside the, or yeah, store the knife out, like leave it out of the sheath when, at night. Because in the morning, when I took it out, there was a light, fine coating of rust on the blade. And uh, I took it off, I cleaned it off, and uh, I oiled it. And uh, so, if you do have this knife, you take camping. I don't know if you have, you guys who do have the knife, I don't know if you have the same problem. But that was an issue for me, so before I went to bed in the tent, I took the knife out of the sheath. And then for the sheath, when I got home, I cleaned it off, and I put like a leather sheet, or like a leather cleaning, polishing uh, lotion on it, if that's what it's called. I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, so no problem with the sheath. It did come with a drop dangler, or uh, like an extra pair of piece of leather that you can attach onto this but I took that off because um, I didn't really like it uh, it has a drainage hole I guess that's what it is and uh, double stitching and, and uh, a uh, fire steel holder um, I got some more video of this knife that I probably just put in this video so um, yeah and uh, comes I asked for my Carta. It comes with my Carta. They asked for, asked me if uh, I wanted like a green resin or black resin. I just went with the green resin, and uh, it's a uh, one of my. F it's my favorite knife. Um, good for bushcraft, like I said. Um, nice uh, weight to it. Real comfortable. I like the uh, finger groove in here. Makes it feels nice. Nice. It fits in my hand good, and uh, anyway, um, st if you want to see more video on this knife, just give me a minute and uh, I'll roll in the footage. So here it is again, blind horse knife, bushcrafter. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Um, I want to thank you guys for uh, watching and subscribing. I appreciate it a lot. So uh, see you guys in the next one. Thanks.